Brandberg-based Jet Demolition won the Industrial Demolition Award at this year's World Demolition Awards for a project at power utility ESCOM's Duva Power Station in Pumalanga. Jet Demolition MD Joe Brinkman joins me in studio to tell us more. Welcome, Joe. Thank you. Um, the World Demolition Awards were held recently in Ireland and you won the Industrial Demolition Award for your project at ESCOM's Duva Power Station in Pumalanga. Can you give us a brief background to what necessitated this demolition? The boiler experienced an overpressurization event and it, it was then decided to replace the boiler. And how long did this demolition take? It took a total of uh, 13 months of actual site work, and that was after a three-month period of planning and engineering work to work out exactly what would happen during the um, demolishing period. And how much steel was removed from the site? Just over, just over 11,000 tons. Uh, what was the most re crucial requirement um, for this particular project? Well, a safe, rapid, controlled removal of the boiler First off, everyone must be safe. Safety of people is paramount. Then we had to make sure that we didn't damage the structure mm -hmm. from, from which the boiler hung because that was to be reused for the new boiler. Also, very importantly, we, c we could not disrupt the operation of the power station, which was happening all around us. So that was vital not to disrupt power generation of any of the other units. The demolition was extremely high risk. How did Jet Demolition handle that? Well, it was done, first of all, basically plan your work and then work your plan. We did very detailed engineering and planning work. The, the uh, project is actually quite challenging technically because the boiler actually hung from 96 meters. Because of the thermal expansion which takes place during operation, these types of structures or these boiler units are hung from a very large structure. So that restricts your ability on how many working faces basically that you can actually do it. So you had to remove it in a bottom up sequence where typically you're working things based on the ground working in a top down sequence. So that was uh, unusual in, in that way. And it also restricted your working access. You had to control people working above each other, that things could fall onto them. So it was a very confined space. And we worked on a double shift there to get the job done quickly. So there were lots of demands from, from different angles. How many people were on site? The peak was 145 people. Um, did the project involve any local community development? Uh, yes, it did. Over half of our procurement spend was spent locally in all of our supplies. And also, we skilled up 25 local people in various aspects of our work. Things like safety officers, riggers, equipment operators, site operatives. They were given practical and uh, formal training, classroom training in our areas of work, and some of those were actually hired by our company at the end of the project. That's great news. It is. It's very good. Yeah. Um, is there anything else you'd like to add? No, I think it was a very demanding project, but we worked with a good technical crew at ESCOM and their consultants, DRA. So as a team, we pulled together and we pulled it off. And congratulations on that. Thank you. Would you like to tell us a bit more about your award? Yes, the award, there were 10 submissions for this award. There was a short list of four, and it came down to us in the end. And we were just absolutely thrilled to get this award because we were up against the largest companies in the world doing massive, massive projects. But they thought our project was unique, described as brilliant, in fact. And it was, a, again, a very unusual and extremely demanding project. And it's shown through as the chosen as the best in the world over the last year. And so it's not your first award? No, it isn't. Last year, we got it for the explosive category, doing a very difficult implosion for the Department of Public Works in Pretoria, where we took down a 15-story building within less than half a meter of the adjacent structure wow. on a very tight site. So that, as well, was a major accomplishment. and. Um, it illustrates that South Africa is up there with the best. That's such good news. Thank you very much, and thank you for your time. And thank you. That was Jet Demolition MD Joe Brinkman talking about the company's Industrial Demolition Award
for its fast-track demolition projects at ESCOM's Duva Power Station.